Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Data Dispatch. We have a very important video regarding Palantir Technologies and how trading next week could really lead an example into 2024. And why this is important is because Palantir Technologies has continued to be one of the biggest AI stocks out there in terms of trendiness, performance, and also hype. And we're also going to be talking about the cautions with Palantir that we have seen, not just in the last week, but that we've seen with corrections before. But however, this could be a wonderful long-term growth stock into the next decade. So before we get too far, hit that like button, subscribe for daily videos. And of course, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just collecting on the data and dispatching it to you. Now, let's talk about Palantir really quick and a quick summary in terms of last trading session that was on Friday. Friday, closing at 1777. And Palantir is actually able to hit a key reversal at that $17 level of support. Now, why this is a key reversal point is because underneath that 17, before we've hit that before, Palantir was down in the 14s. There was a large gap that was created after those Q3 earnings were reported. And we saw Palantir really hit an exponential kind of buying confidence and volume coming into the stock, pushing up its valuation to these extreme highs. And Palantir was actually able to accomplish a recent 52 week year to date high at about 21.85 that was set a few weeks ago. After that, we saw this slip immediately after we had that analyst that brought fear into Palantir with the uncertainty of a specific army contract that could be renewed at a lower valuation and also at a lower time duration. Now, just that single analyst and the same bearish media article being published over and over again, we talked about this in the last week's videos, you can see caused about a 7% and even close to a 15% slip in terms of the whole actual swing before we hit that reversal in Palantir Technologies alone. So what we do have is a lot of bullishness, yes, behind Palantir, but also there's a lot of profit takers that are sitting at the table waiting to see that swing and a lot of people are swing trading the stock. We're seeing this in terms of the volatility and also we're seeing this in the change in the actual implied volatility among the options contracts. Now. Look Looking into next week, we do see an entire new type of implied volatility coming behind those $18 and $19 strike price calls, which means that many investors are taking a bullish approach on Palantir in the short term. But just not into the short term here, December is going to be really important as we transform and basically go into 2024. And one of the biggest catalysts that Palantir will not have control of is what the Fed and from the FOMC meeting what they are going to decide, especially on the interest rates. And will these continue to actually stabilize or will we see a cut? If we see a cut in those interest rates, I think we're going to see momentum and buying pressure coming back into the global market and what we're going to see with the Dow Jones, the S&P 500, with the NASDAQ that are all going to have confidence coming into that. And with Palantir fitting the, the criteria of being fit into the S&P 500 with that fourth quarter of gap profitability, this can help bring maturity to the company. So if we have these continued bullish signs from a global macroeconomic perspective, and if we have continued performance from Palantir that is continuing to beat their quarter expectations uh, for quarters over quarters over quarters, and we're seeing one of the biggest catalysts that we'll talk about here in a second, I think Palantir could easily test that $20 level of resistance that we've seen in the future. However, if we see a decrease in valuation, and especially with its high and its decelerated revenue growth rate that analysts and a lot of professional traders are criticizing Palantir for, we could see it test the $17 level of support again. There's going to be a lot of volatility here, so make sure you are taking full risk assessment when deciding to get into Palantir right now at these price points. Now. Talking about Palantir and with that decelerated revenue growth rate, to go further more into detail about that, is that basically what we've seen is Palantir, the company, has said that they predict a about, about a 30% revenue growth rate year over year, kind of for the next decade. What we've seen is a deceleration of that going down to like 16% and basically just not being to keep up with those numbers. Now, Palantir has said that the Army contracts and some fluctuations with some of the larger contracts has been a major variable in that actual type of situation. But one of the biggest equations 
indications that we see for Palantir in terms of a catalyst, if you want to take the bullish perspective, is the AIP software. And not just the AIP software specifically, but the actual audience and the clientele that Palantir is targeting in terms of its business. And that is getting into the commercial and the customer industry. Now, with that, you have a diversification of many different sectors, not just government, that Palantir can basically get its feet wet in. We've already seen this with that National Health Service contract, them achieving that, and continuing to collaborate with different types of firms, such as PwC. Getting involved with these different industries and basically keeping clients on the table with their AIP bootcamp allows Palantir to not have these large swings and basically having these one piece of bearish media articles causing these large cascades, not just in correction, but also profit taking. Some investors are looking at this at a buy the dip situation. We saw this last week with Kathy Wood, who swooped up millions of shares of PLTR to add to her ETF ARC. Now, ARC is basically a bet on disruptive technology. And we see AI as a disruptive technology over toward the, over into the next decade. Many predictions will predict how much market share is going to come into the AI industry. That's all only going to come with the true numbers in time. But what I think Palantir does have riding behind it is a great amount of momentum in terms of trendiness, but also outperforming what Wall Street has basically set the bar for on terms of Palantir. With that fourth corporate quarter of gap profitability, and even with some uncertainty that we've seen, Palantir is doing very well in terms of an AI stock, a speculative stock, and a stock that's only been trading for three years. Already fitting the um, criteria of reaching that S&P 500, we have to remember that Palantir will mature. And with that being said, we could see a reduction in its revenue growth rate. Palantir maybe already went through its hyper growth rate because remember, it's up like over 2% year over year. Now with that and year to date with these up over 100%, and possibly already getting past its hyper growth momentum and its actual change of valuation does not mean that this is a bad stock. It actually means it could be a good stock if you're looking for a less risky of an investment. And with that in the S&P 500, this typically brings maturity to a company because you have many ETFs that do track the S&P 500. So you kind of have a general buying type of momentum and pressure that's happening across the board rather than just people picking this individual stock or looking into more of the speculative ETFs like ARK. Now, one thing is Palantir does also have a great um, cash financial report. And that's because they have a ton of cash on hand with low debt. So with the AIP bootcamp, that is really leading a lot of momentum behind this stock. And you also have a ton of cash that can be invested into further development and continuing to stay on top as a leading competitor. I think Palantir is going to be having a bullish 2024. Now, of course, there could be some things that everybody does not see coming. There could be some big changes in the company. There could be some large bearish media articles or large changes in contracts. This could happen at any time, and it's just kind of the risk that is associated with more of an AI speculative play. But other than that, that's really all but a half for you guys, and I think Palantir is going to have a great 2024. Only time will tell. We'll catch you guys later. Peace out and take care.